Question 70. If L1 is a decidable language and L2 is an undecidable language, then L1 union L2, the union of L1 and L2, is A, possibly finite, possibly infinite, but definitely decidable, B, possibly finite, possibly infinite, but definitely undecidable, C, infinite, but possibly decidable, and possibly undecidable. D, infinite and decidable. E, infinite and undecidable. So, here's the question. Here's what we got to know. A language is any set of strings. Hopefully we know that already. Decidable means that a Turing machine can determine if any string belongs to the language or not. So let's be clear on those two terms before we start. Now, L1 we know is decidable. L2 we know is undecidable. And we're trying to figure out if L1 or L2 is decidable and whether or not it's infinite. Let's think about this for a second. L2 is undecidable and uh, therefore it's got to be infinite. If it, if it was finite, then we could just decide it by um, checking whether or not any, any uh, string uh, was uh, satisfiable by the set or not, the, the, if this was uh, a, a finite set. We could just check to see if it a member of the finite set. We can't do that. It's undecidable, so this must be infinite. So <clears throat> we cannot have the union of two different languages where one of them is infinite and, and the other one be finite. It's not possible. It's infinite. So, so basically, we know L1, L, union L2 has got to be infinite. So that throws out you know, A and B, that can't, those can't be the answer. Now the question becomes, is this un, L1 union L2 decidable or not? Well, let's think about this. If L1 is the empty string, the empty set, whatever, and L2 is the halting problem, then uh, the union of these two is going to be undecidable, same as the halting problem. The halting problem you know, is the, is the uh, uh, well, you have to look at the halting problem, but it's basically the idea that, you know, the proof that uh, you can't determine whether or not a, a given machine loops forever. Okay. So it's, it's undecidable. Now, if L1 is the, the uh, language of all Turing machines, and the L2 is a universal Turing machine, which is, of course, a machine that can determine whether or not a Turing machine is, uh, you know, you, whether or not you have a Turing machine. That's decidable. So the, 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 the Turing machine that accepts Turing machines always decides it, it, uh, that it is a Turing machine. So that's a situation where it would be decidable. So really, based on the information we have, we can't tell whether or not L1 or L2 is going to be decidable. Maybe it is, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Anyway, so that's why the answer is C. Um, L1 union L2 is infinite, but possibly decidable, possibly not decidable.